Hi, I'm Mina from Blue White, and in this video, I'll demonstrate how to install the F300 flow meter. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install the F300 flow meter. But before we install the F300, it's essential to practice safety. Always wear safety glasses when working around the system. The F300 flow meter will ship with the following items. A quick start guide, F300 flow meter, a gasket, and two 316 stainless steel clamps. Some other items we recommend when installing your blue white F300 flow meter are a tape measure, a hand drill, a 5 16 nut driver or flathead screwdriver, a 3 16 drill bit, a 5 8 drill bit for half to four inch pipe sizes, or a 3 4 drill bit for six inch to eight inch pipe sizes, a felt tip pen or a dry erase marker, and a deburring tool or sandpaper. Safety tip, be sure to relieve pressure in the pipe before performing any installation or maintenance. Before we install the F300, let's review the installation requirements. One, identify a location downstream from the filter to install the flow meter. This will prevent debris from clogging the meter. Two, ensure there is enough straight pipe to meet the minimum required dimensions of five times the pipe diameter upstream and two times the pipe diameter downstream. Three, ensure the piping is straight, horizontal or vertical, is schedule 40 or 80, and does not exceed 75 PSI. Now that we've reviewed the installation requirements, let's go on location and I'll demonstrate how to install the F300 flow meter. To install the F300 flow meter, begin by measuring the pipe. You'll need a minimum of five times the pipe diameter upstream and two times the pipe diameter downstream. In our example, the pipe diameter is 2.5 inches. So we'll measure 12 and a half inches upstream and make a mark. Then we'll measure five inches downstream and make a mark. Pro tip, use a dry erase marker for easy cleanup. Locate an ideal spot between the two markings and drill a pilot hole using a 3 16 drill bit. The hole needs to be directly on top of the horizontal pipe. Then drill a hole using the 5 8 drill bit. Keep the drill perpendicular to the pipe to ensure the hole is straight. Remove all burrs using a deburring tool or sandpaper. Open the F300 flow meter and inspect the meter. Insert the pitot tube with the gasket into the hole, ensuring the direction of flow matches the arrow on the flow meter. For a secure fit, hand tighten the clamps alternately with a 5 16 nut driver or flathead screwdriver. Lastly, turn on the system slowly and check for leaks. Avoid sudden bursts of flow to the meter. Now that we've installed the F300, let's go back to the studio. This has been a demonstration in installing the F300 flow meter. For further questions or assistance, please reach out to us at customerservice at blue-white.com. Thank you for watching this episode of the Blue White Academy. For more information, please visit blue-white.com.